how I would take multiple positions on one ROV. Okay, so you have one signal that came on Telegram on the VIP or on the indicator in here, in this case, this one in here. And how would you go about improving your risk reward? So instead of one to one, as I did in here, or just simple one to one, how can I make it three to one, four to one, 10 to one, 20 to one using just one signal? Okay, so what I would do is, as I said, pick one high time frame or two high time frame, uh, uh, stick to them. So let's say four hour and two hour. Four hour and one hour, okay? And then pick one or two lower time frames. For me, I like to do four hour on the high time frame, 15 minute on the lower time frame, okay? I can go to five minute, but I keep it between four hour for high time frame and uh, 15 minute for lower time frame. So uh, let's take monthly as an example in here. We have this ROB on the monthly. So this is the high time frame. The ROB appeared in here. So how would I take this one? Let me disable the OBs for now. So uh, I start with exactly what I did, the one-to-one. -one. So I go and draw the price range and I say, I'm gonna enter at the zone here and the stop loss is the highest point in here. And that will be my entry to stop loss. And then my take profit is one-to-one -one here. And then I draw lines or a box. First, I draw a box. Let's start with a box. I go with a rectangle and I say, I'm going to draw the zone from here to here, just as a zone. Okay. I color it red because it's a shorting zone. It's a selling zone. And I'll draw a line in here. That's my TP. So my one to one TP. So I'm just going to do like this, this, and then make it green. That's it. Okay. So let me draw this one. Uh, sorry, remove this one, remove this one. So I end up with this. That's it. So that's my entry. I enter here. My stop loss is here. My take profit is here. Now, what I'll do is I'll start with an order like this. I'll actually go to my broker or my exchange and place a short limit order exactly here, like this. Okay, exactly where I put it here. This is a one to one risk to reward ratio. Now, this is keep in mind, this is on the logarithmic scale. This is why it says 0 0.5. So I actually, if you switch to the to the linear scale, you need to bring it lower for a one-to-one. -one. So, but the point is just figure out whatever is the one-to-one. -one. Okay. Wherever is the one-to-one, -one, that's where you want to target as a uh, TP, for example. Uh, for me, if I'm trading on the logarithmic scale, I just keep it on the logarithmic scale. So actually, I'll just do it wherever I did it in here like this, one-to-one. -one. I use the price range tool, that's it. That's what I would do from a from a drawing perspective, okay? And then what I do is I drop to the lower time frame. So this is on the monthly. Let's say the lower time frame is the, I don't know, daily. So I end up with this position. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually looking for zones inside this region from here to here, another ROB, or OB, so I activate the ROBs and the OBs. Okay, let me remove the signal arrows. I don't need them for the lower time frame. And what I'm doing now is I'm looking for areas actually to add more positions, but the stop loss and the TP will be the same. So in this case, I have this line in here, I have this region in here, and I have these regions, okay? Now this is another ROB that it's like exactly the same like this one in here. So I'm, I'm going to skip this one. It's so close to the entry, to the high time frame entry. So I'm going to skip this one. And I'm going to target these one, two, and maybe three. Okay. So in total, I have one, two, three, maybe four positions. Okay. Just for the sake of example. So I'll actually go and open positions on these zones. So this is one in here. This one from here to here. So this, this line in here is not tested yet. And there is another one that is here. This one. And then there is another one that is, let's say, this one, the deep, the deepest one. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, up to you. I mean, you don't want to do too many of them because what if worst case scenario price keeps going up and hits your stop loss? So you have five losses. So you want to pick maybe the first one or two and the deepest one so that you have the highest uh, risk reward if it goes there and goes to your take profit um, and you don't miss the entry. So this is why you enter also at the very first two. So what I would do, as I said, I would move my stop loss to the same point. So all of them will have the same stop loss. 
and the same take profit. So all of them will have the same stop loss. All of them will have the same stop loss and all of them will have the same take profit. So I got the stop loss and the take profit from the high time frame. Okay. Like this, like this. You get the idea. So I have multiple positions that are opening. So actually, what will happen now is multiple entries, same stop loss and take profits. So now, starting from here, which is this is when exactly the high time frame uh, closed. So now, actually, if we track, we'll see that now we switch to the back to the weekly, just for this example, because this is where we got our high time frame from. So we end up with these multiple positions. Okay. So multiple entries. And if we play, so actually, price hit maybe a few in there. We'll see which ones it hit. And then it's going to, and there you go, it hit the take profit. So, so let's see how many positions we got in there. Okay, so we have one, two. Okay, so we hit two positions, this one and this one. Uh, it didn't hit this one, for example, and it didn't hit the deepest one. Now you can go ahead and cancel them, these two remaining, because the move already played out, it went to the take profit. Or you can keep it maybe in the future, you know, it will go that deep. And then if it plays out again, then it's a uh, a bigger risk reward play for you. So just if I exit now with this position, I gained 1.34 R and another position that is 0 0.57. Okay. So I have, I have sorry, 1.1 R for this one that hit and the 0 0.7. Five seven. So actually, this was a one point, roughly one point six of play with two orders. Okay, so that's how you would use one rob or one zone, but spray multiple orders. Now, in many cases, you'll find price will go down and then go up again and hit the the very deepest one in here and then go back to the take profit. So if that happens, what do you end up with? You end up with a seven r position plus all of these. So you end up with like maybe 10R or, or 9R just from one ROB zone. So this is how you would pretty much uh, snipe or kind of improve your risk reward using just one signal.